So how well do you think you understand percent? Now, most people have a pretty good working knowledge of how to find a percent of a number, but could you answer a question like this? So three is 8% of what number? All right, so that is the question. Now, feel free to use your calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. So again, three is 8% of what number? Well, let's go ahead and solve this. So how do we find the percent of a number? So if I wanna find 8% of, let's suppose uh, 20, well, the way you find the percent of a number is to change that percent into a decimal. And the way we do that is to divide the percent by 100, which is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So 8% is the same thing as 8.0%. So if I move the decimal point over two places to the left, I'm gonna get 0.08. All right, so the decimal 0.08 is the same thing as 8%. And again, that is uh, the result of dividing the percentage by 100. Okay, so once you have your percent written as a decimal, all you have to do is multiply the number, in this case 0.08 times 20, and you will get the right answer. So this is how you find a percent of 20 or how you find the percent of a number. Okay, so with that knowledge, we can figure this question out. And I'm gonna uh, solve this problem by using simple algebra. Now, this is not the only way to solve this problem, but as a math teacher, I think this is the one that makes the most sense to me. All right, so three is 8% of what number? Now, we don't know this number, so let's use a simple variable like x to represent this number. So if we think about it, a percent of this number is, now this word in math means equal. Okay, so a percent of some number x is equal to three. So we can write this out this way. So a percent of this number x is equal to three. All right, so how do we find the percent of a number? Again, we're gonna convert this to a decimal. So this is 0 0.08 times x, and that's equal to three. So to solve this basic equation, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0.08, and three divided by 0.08 is going to be 37.5, which is the correct answer.